the reciprocal frame designer freeform design to production in reciprocal frames all members act as supports for the adjacent members members do not meet at their extremities but somewhere along their length as a result forces are primarily being transferred by shear and bending this is the structural principle of a reciprocal frame the reciprocal frame designer allows freeform design to production by using rhino grasshopper the design process starts with a nerb surface that can be subdivided into tri or rectangles this tessellated surface must be modeled into the desired shape and is used to generate a reciprocal frame afterwards parameters such as eccentricity and the scale factor can be changed until the desired shape is found To be able to create a solid structure, the beams are first scaled towards the preferred length. Second, cross-section and detailing dimensions are specified. until the desired shape is found hereafter the structural design is checked conform your code 5 for timber structures each color dot indicates different unity check exceeding at connection and cross-section level All parameters and loads must be changed until the design shows zero unity check exceeding. Deformation behavior needs to be checked in Oasis GSA. The required file is generated automatically with Geometry Gym. The reciprocal frame can now be produced. Unfold the structure in Y direction. And check dimensions plus section numbering. A scale model is 3D printed to check assembly. Does it fit? Yes. But, how to make a full scale model? This is the design to production part. How does this work for the reciprocal frame designer? First export to point sat from the baked rhino file. Select all unfolded beams. Choose a file location and export. Import to CAD work. CAD work automatically generates CAM files. These files can directly be imported into Cambium. Cambium is Hundager's CAM software. Each beam design requires specific CAM operations. These operations are specified in nestings. Nestings are generated automatically within Cambium. 
and are based on available machinery and timber stock. The nestings determine the exact CAM data. allowing to simulate the fabrication process. Are you ready for the actual production? The Hundegger K2i first saws the timber to length. followed by milling the notches. At two sides. Finally, the last saw cuts are made. After identification, the beam is ready for assembly. Here, one can see assembled mock-ups next to the Hundegger K2i. A complete model can also be fabricated. All that remains is waiting for an application.